All right, let's talk about condenser split. This is measured the same way we do um, the TD for evaporator coils. So you take the condensing temperature of the refrigerant as you read from your gauges and your PT chart. And you take that temperature and you look at the and measure the air entering the condenser temperature. So for example, if the condensing temperature is 105 degrees, which you read on your gauges, it's a 75 degree ambient, so the air entering the condenser is 75 degrees. There's a 30 degree condenser split. So it's the same thing as the evaporator coil. Now why is this important? Well, many times, like we, we talked about earlier, that refrigeration systems don't always come as a wrapped up tight package. You have controls are put on after the fact, depending on the situation, you may go to a restaurant or a convenience store. They're not big on replacing entire systems, so you're going to have different condensers and mismatched equipment. So, And you're not always able to find the installation guides or the manufacturer's information. So these are just some things to keep in your hip pocket to, to give you a reference point. So condenser splits. For an air-cooled condenser split for uh, standard efficiency air conditioning, which we're used to working on, is about 30 degrees. So if you have 95 degree ambient, 125 degree condensing temperature, we have a 30 degree split. Um, your medium to high efficiency air conditioning condensers are down into the 20 degrees split. So the condenser splits vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, but like I said, we're gonna we'll we'll list a few hip pocket splits. It gives you a quick reference and can be an indicator and help you determine what's happening with the system in the refrigeration cycle. So here they are. So standard air conditioning at 10 sear, so those are gonna be your eight and 10 year old units. We have a 30 degree split. Commercial freezers are 20 to 25 degree split. High efficiency air conditioners, that's about 13 to 15 sear. You're looking at 15 to 20 degree split. Get much higher above that than you have variable speed uh, compressors. And then this, these rules of thumb go out the window. Okay, remote refrigeration condensers, for example, like your ice machines and so forth, 10 to 30 degree split. So here's some example. Master built medium temp is at 30, a Russell freezer at 25, train AC system, 20 degree split, and a remote um, system 10 to 30. It's not real accurate, but it does give you a reference point. Okay, so I know these some of these lessons are short, but make sure you write these splits down. Same thing with any uh, temperatures or hip pocket type information, they are a great, great starting point for your troubleshooting process.